Morning, Fee. Morning slash afternoon, Mr. Stokes. How yeah, are you doing? It's afternoon, mate. You're right. <laughs> we see. Uh... Oh, that's on video that you said I was right. <laughs> <laughs> so you were up early this morning. I was. I was up at nine o'clock. I resented it. However, it was for a good reason. It, I was. Um, I was being introduced to um, Hermes for the first time, which is my motability, my replacement motability car, because car, uh, van, truck, yeah. beast. Yeah. Any of the above, really. So I see. My problem is I've I've been using a manual wheelchair for um, oh god, ages now actually, um, since about 2012. 2012 was when I got my uh, manual wheelchair, um, Pegasus, and unfortunately my my health's kind of um, gone slightly tits up since then. Mamry Skywood, sorry, um, and. Uh, that's meant that I've had to use an electric wheelchair, so um, hence Sisyphus. Um, and unfortunately, Sisyphus, uh, well, me being quite tall and Sisyphus needing to be tall for me, I had to have the um, full size wheelchair because apparently most of them have the mini size, which I didn't know about. Uh, but the problem with that is it's quite tall, isn't it? So uh, yeah, I think. Because you had to get rid of, we had to change for Sisyphus because it was uh, an electric assisted manual wheelchair and that was too much. So you've moved to Sisyphus. Full joystick. Full, full joystick. joystick control. But of course that means it's because you're tall it's a much bigger wheelchair and it didn't fit and there was no chance of fitting in the car well i even remember the motability guys when they came around and they saw the wheelchair and they're like oh that's a big one i was like well i did say it was big they're like yeah but it's really big <laughs> like, yeah yeah so, so so you've had to move to a uh a bigger bigger vehicle. mercedes sprinter because mercedes sprinter is the only car that fits my wheelchair in mm -hmm. so you know on, on the plus side at least i went like from like citroen bilingo where they didn't even give me car so car, the, uh, car, car, the, see, the new, your new van looks just like this. Yeah. Then, uh, and and uh, this is this is the the good old the good old boy that we had before. And uh, and yeah, it looks a bit like the Starship Enterprise, and it's very cool because it's got oh, it's very good because you've got a remote that you can use to um, open the doors, and the uh, back ramp comes down. So that I can actually get in there all by myself, as pathetic as that sounds, um, and then I'll be able to dock my wheelchair. So um, I, it's been taken away. Um, Sisyphus has been taken away with the um, motability uh, van, so that um, he can be fitted. So that there'll be a docking station. So there'll be the wheelchair basically, and then they'll have a, a docking spike. Thank you. I, I should probably stop doing that action as I'm saying <laughs> it, shouldn't I? Docking spike. I'm trying to think of not doing that action now. Uh, um, and then that docking spike will then lock in with a docking. Um, yeah. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, I can't think of a better move than apparently this and that. I just yeah, yeah, cupping. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, so yeah, that will uh, kind of attach and then lock in, and um, that means that it will be safe for me to drive. Um, with the wheelchair all safely secured and it'll have tie downs just in case um, and then I have a chair that moves back basically so that I can transfer straight over to it um, and then raise myself up um, and then um, drive forward into the um, steering wheel and it's it's got it's got it's got the gear stick on the um, on the wheel which I'm not used to I'm used to like a, I'm used to a dial there so and this is like my windscreen wipers usually so it's going to be an interest knock in the garage <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to stall my uh, automatic which is something you shouldn't be able to do but I, get, I see it now I just see it now uh, on the plus side though it doesn't go into park while you're driving so there's that <laughs> but the guy Rob was um he was a really nice guy actually and um, I have to say actually the company SBO have been bloody fantastic and keeping me updated with everything um so it um it's it's gone through a two two three stage process hasn't it so we got the uh, original sprinter then it got sent off to um summer in ireland i can't remember where it was somewhere in like island island rather than northern northern ireland do you like my geography skills um and then from then they reinforced it and put all the tracking in and did all that kind of stuff <clears throat> and then they've given it to um, SVO who then do any of the wheelchair adaptions or any of the disability kind of um, adaptions. So I'm quite lucky in the sense that because my I can still use my right leg and because I drive an automatic, the only things that they're really doing is um, locking my wheelchair in and um, uh, one of those 
balls. Yeah, yeah, so that makes makes life a bit easier for me. So, um, so yeah, and I said that they could, they may as well keep the wheelchair because they're in Colne, which isn't too far. But I said there's no point in you know have me having the wheelchair because I can't really do anything with it at the moment anyway because I've only been able to go locally. Um, so, uh, so yeah, next Tuesday, um, Thursday. Tuesday, they rang Tuesday. me up. Tuesday at ten o'clock. I'm telling you this now. Tuesday at ten. Um, uh, they will be dropping it back off and then taking away Perseus for the last time. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, all systems go. It's quite exciting. So we'll make a video when it turns up next week. We'll make a video of it and uh, our first journey out on it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that when you're in the, when you're in there, you can uh, press the button and the, the 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 ramp comes up and it all closes behind you mm -hmm. and it's 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 very posh actually. So you're excited about it? I am excited. Uh, yes. But I'm actually more nervous about it than I'm excited because it's fucking massive. And my car is like, my car's a Citroen Berlingo. I felt like that was a big car. And now I feel like, now, you're in now I feel like it's Hot Wheels. <laughs> and I don't, and I, I, ah, so, okay. I've got two major problems, right? There's the size problem. Although it does have... It's the girth I worry about because so driving around in these roads, you've so seen our local roads, there's double parking either side. Yeah. I, I, although although mm, it is fitted with mm. every trick in the book. Yeah, it's, it's, got got the <laughs> in the yeah, it's, it's got all the cameras. Yeah, it's got camera that it shows yeah. and everything. And yeah. it's even got, it's got a camera at the rear which shows you to parking. It's got sensors <laughs> front and rear. And the clever bit is there's cameras in the windscreen, in the uh, mirrors. Oh, is there? So when you come to park up, screen shows you a look down at the curb oh that's quite clever so you can see how close to the curb you are yeah but i feel like that just gives me no excuse for when i fuck it up true <laughs> <laughs> that's the way i look at that darling i mean you're all like yeah yeah, yeah you've got all these bells and whistles like okay right you don't understand when i first picked up my citron bilingo we picked it up and mum and dad and me we went to the fuel station and they were like you, you know how they're set up and it's like really narrow in between i literally almost had like an epic meltdown at my mum because i was like i'm not going to fit and she was like you fucking will and i'm like i'm not gonna fit and she's like just, oh, just do it already and i was like oh I oh, know. Tell me. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna dig in and get stuck. Lay me on your river bed tonight. I'm so excited. There'll be chasing after us. I can't remember where you said it was. Yeah.